So you have many options when you go grocery shopping in Panama City, and one of those is Reva Smith, but there's also Super 99, uh, Ray, and like a whole bunch of other options. You're typically gonna find a similar setup than what you have in an American grocery store or maybe a grocery store in your country. However, some things are a little bit more expensive because down here in Panama, a lot of the American products have to be imported, which makes them cost a little bit more, which kind of sucks. You're not going to find the milk in the refrigerated section. You're going to find it in a, uh, in a, just a regular aisle. Damn it! So I got cut off. I was told you cannot film here anymore. So, but that's okay. So I'm back in the apartment and I will totally tell you everything from here. So we already went over milk, so let's go over eggs. Eggs is pretty much the same thing. Um, they don't put it in the refrigerated section, which I guess is okay because I've eaten the eggs and I didn't die from them not being refrigerated before I bought them. <laughs> so typically I always find the eggs by the produce section. And speaking of produce, oh my God. Panama has the best produce sections in the world. It is rows and rows of different colors and fresh produce and everything's pretty much local. So the cost is like very, very good. <laughs> the only thing is like, um, you never find like those big onions that we have in the United States, probably because, you know, here they don't pump them full of growth hormones and stuff like that. So, but they're so good. So they're already prepackaged, just like we do meat in the United States as far as like the styrofoam container and the plastic on top. Um, and it's pre-priced for you. Or if you want to pick your own, which that's what I prefer to do, they have little baskets where you can pick the tomato or the carrot or whatever you want. And then you take it to a weigh station. So there'll be somebody who's running a weigh station. You'll take it to them. They'll weigh it for you and put a sticker on it. So, and you have to do that before you check out. So checking out in a Panamanian grocery store is basically the same as it is pretty much anywhere else in the world. And the only thing is if you're paying with credit card or if you're paying with low bills like 20s, 10s and 5s, you're, you're fine. Everything's going to be good. Um, Panama has this thing where like $50 bills and $100 bills, it, it's a huge process. <laughs> so in the grocery stores, what I've seen is they have to call a manager. So if I'm paying with a hundred dollar bill, they have to call a manager and the manager brings over this book and they take your information where you live, blah, blah, blah. For um, foreigners, it'll be your passport. Um, unless of course you have like a Panamanian ID and they check it, they do the black marker, hold it up to the light, everything, you know, blah, blah, blah and it just it's a long process and it's pretty frustrating to be in the grocery store standing behind somebody who feels the need to pay a hundred dollar bill so if you can avoid it i would definitely recommend avoiding using 50 and 100 dollar bills anywhere in panama because some places won't even take that money so one of the cool things that's customary here in panama city is that when you do grocery shopping and they bag all your groceries the bagger person will totally take all of your groceries to your car or to the taxi um, and it's just customary that you tip them a dollar or one of the little balboa coins so overall grocery shopping is not really big like a whoo it's a cultural experience no <laughs> it's basically the same as anywhere else in the world um, the, uh, some of the aisles tend to be a little bit smaller and of course like anywhere else in the world there are those shoppers that just don't pay attention and Panamanian grocery stores usually tend to be crowded, so it sucks when, <laughs> when they don't pay attention. I want to know what grocery shopping is like in your country. Do you have small aisles? Can you pay with a $50 bill or a 50 euro bill or a 500,000 yen bill if that even exists? Um, leave me a comment in the comment section below and don't forget to like this video. And of course, I'm going to be doing more videos here in Panama City, so why not subscribe to Follow Orange and visit followorange.com.